Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and welcome back to a big old giant Ami Ami box with one figure inside of it. Woohoo! So this one I've been waiting for a while. She was originally supposed to release in February. It is now September 21st, and I just got her. So yeah, we've got a Neptunia figure in here, but it's not Nep, and it's not Noir. It's actually Blanc. Yes, we've got a White Heart. So let's get this box open and get to the pretties. Woohoo! Yes, pretties. So, as I said, this is a pretty big box, and it's just got the one figure because Whiteheart has a big giant box. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what to really talk about right now as I'm opening this. Uh, shipping Ami Ami has been hit by coronavirus, I guess, or at least Japan has. Because she came out on like in the beginning of September, and then it took them like three or four days to even bill me, and then three or four days to ship them out, and then there was a holiday, so it's just been a pain waiting for this box. But I got this box finally. So we've got an Ami Ami thank you card. Here's the back with Amiko. Looks like she's pounding some mochi. Ooh, I haven't seen this one yet. It's a starving Amiko. Ugh, I'm so hungry after using magic. At times like this, use magic to bring out a meal. So smart. I, I can eat so much. I'm so happy. Much, 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 much. What are you doing? Mountain of food. Eeks! I get hungry whenever I use magic, so I can't stop. So yeah, that's the card. Next time we get that same card, we can refer back to this video. So, ugh. We'll open the box and re reveal the Amiami paper. And yes, there is White Heart in her box. So sideways, it fits perfectly pretty much. On the out top and bottom, there is extra space. It is what it is. Amiami uses standard size boxes. And I do not fault them for that, unlike some people. It's a pain in butt to get out. And I've moved the, moved the lights a little bit, so let's move that back. Let's clean up a little bit off to the side. So I have places to put things. There we go. So yes, she is in tissue paper, but you can already see it's white heart. Oh, come on. I have to push this so far back because the box is so big. But yes, there is White Heart in her box. We'll do a little spin around. That's the side. Nice silhouette. There's the back. And the other side. This is pretty faded looking. There is the top. And the bottom. So we'll look at this as I read some information. So as I said, this is White Heart or Blanc. I'll probably call her Blanc mostly. We'll see. She is from Shoujigen Game Neptune or Hyperdimension Neptunia, any of the iterations. She is a 1-7 scale figure manufactured by Amakuni and exclusive to Ami Ami. Um, she released... It hasn't updated on MSC yet, but people are saying the 9th of September of 2021. As I said, originally she was supposed to come out in February, but delays happen. I ordered her back on December 27th of 2019. So, we're getting close to two years. Uh, she was not cheap. She was quite expensive, actually. 28,600 yen, or $271.60. So, not cheap. But... My goal is to have at least one figure of all the goddesses, the four main goddesses. I've got several Nips, I've got several Noirs. This is the only real white heart, and they have announced a green heart, but they don't have any prototypes yet. It's been that way for a year or two, so eventually. Uh, so yeah, I paid on the 13th of September. She shipped out on the 17th, and just got here delivered on the 21st of September. DHL shipping was 9,546 yen. 
So yay. Enough of that. Let's get her open. I've got to bring this closer now. So we've on the sides we've got tape. And then on the back we've got an Amik Amakuni seal. It is a thick cardboard box. There is some instructions and her and her blister packaging. And the inside is just cardboard. So we'll put this off to the side. And there is Blanc in her blister packaging. And my God, is this a huge damn base. It's like a foot wide and it's oval. So yay, <laughs> good luck finding a split place to display her. But so far, look, she looks good. Um, I've watched videos, I've seen pictures because you know, I was slow getting her, I guess. But she looks very good. It looks like she turned out great and I am happy to have her. We'll get her open soon and verify for ourselves. But so far, she looks pretty immaculate. Uh, let's go ahead and get the instructions off the top. There is one complaint I have, though. Um, so her hand that is up in the air, the only hand piece is attached to the axe. So if you don't want to display her with that, she's going to be amputated. I would think for the price that we're paying for this figure, they could have included a, just a blank hand piece. Not that I would ever display her in anything other than her full glory, but... Okay, so we got the instructions, put her on the base, you attach all the little processor unit pieces, you put her axe on, and you attach the headgear, and she's together and all that fun stuff. This is very thick uh, paper. So let's go ahead and put this back in here. I think we'll be able to figure it out, but we'll keep it handy just in case. Um, there is a double blister, so we'll cut the back one, accessory one, out first. I am sweating a little bit because it's actually pretty humid today. So in this blister we've got her giant axe and her wings and her headgear. And in this one we've got her giant base, her body, and her two uh, hip pieces. Um, let's see, which one do we want to open first? Of course, we will open the accessories first. Oh, gotta cut more tape. Okay, that one is all cut. So, eh, we'll pull out her headgear first. So it kind of looks like a helmet. Um, the back attaches to her axe, and then these uh, hover over her head. I will say, at least from the videos I watched, one good thing that they did with this figure, other than the Neptune figures I'm going to show, I don't think they molested her body by drilling a hole into it. So everything attaches either to the base or other pieces. So her body should be whole, except for her hand. Um, here is her one of her wings. It has the clear pole attached. There are a lot of clear poles, unfortunately. Um, the wing says Blanc, and it's blue and purple gradient and all that fun stuff. And then we have her other wing. Which, surprise, surprise, says Blanc, it's blue and purple gradient, and looks almost identical. Put those away. Um, and then, well, this is the reason for giant everything. Uh, yeah, so, what did I, I just threw something. I think there was an extra peg in there support pole on that piece. Let me see if I can find it. Yes. So I forgot there was a, another support rod in there. So yay, I'm glad I found that. But anyways, big giant axe. 
Uh, the head is very heavy, definitely not balanced very well. And we can see right there, her little tiny hand is attached to it. And like I said, unfortunately, they don't give you an extra hand. So if you want a displayer au natural, <laughs> she's going to be handless. So the minimum is her and the axe, I would say. Um, it does feel very flimsy, so don't try to hold it down at here. Hold, hold it up here. Uh, we do see the peg hole for that extra support piece. But nice uh, clear translucent plastic on the edge. Yeah, I mean, it looks definitely looks like her axe. Very uh, mechanical looking. Okay, so now we can get that out of the way. And then we can start working on the main blister. Completely engulfs the turntable, so yay. So we've got tape on the sides. And tape on the sides. That opened pretty easily. Uh, let's look at her big giant ass base. <laughs> and when I say big giant ass base, I mean big giant ass base. Uh, so it says White Heart. It's got the main support with a processor unit foot part already attached. Um, unfortunately, it's plastic pegs. Hopefully her, the main figure is pretty light. Um, there is another peg hole for one of her waist pieces and a bunch of bunch of peg holes. And nice little pattern, but yeah, that is a big giant base. I mean, I don't have tiny hands, so you can see. I will pull out this processor unit and carefully deplastic it. So yay. Um, it kind of looks like USB sticks, so that's kind of like the waste piece. And then you've got this piece, kind of looks like a plug of some sort, so I don't know. It is what it is. Blanc isn't my main favorite goddess, that's definitely Nep. So I don't know too much about her, but I know enough. So we'll pull out the other one now and de-plastic that gently. And it is very similar to the other one, except this one has the other foot piece. So instead of being attached to the base, it's attached to this. And you got nice purple squares and everything. Very Neptunia looking. So now, I guess we're left with the main figure. So there's some nice uh, protective foam padding in there, along with all the plastic. And it's wanting to fly everywhere. Okay, so lock at least is pretty dang light, so hopefully those plastic pegs will be fine. But so far, yep, just looking. Looks pretty immaculate. So you got a nice gloss paint on her leotard, battle suit, whatever it's called, and on her thigh high boots. Nice uh, matte texture on her thighs and her, you know, her fleshy bits, her armpits, her back, and her cute little nose. She has red eyes with the power button symbols inside of them, and she is doing her yell, so she's got an open mouth, but no teeth. Her hair is nice, a nice, uh, like, ice blue color. There, You can tell that the plastic is transparent underneath the paint, especially on, like, the side locks coming out. So it gradients to a clearer translucentness, but you can even tell like the main piece is translucent plastic. Sculpted very well. They've hidden the uh, typical seam line where the fringe attaches quite well, and her hoge is attached nicely. Um, as I said, her hand is only attached to the axe, so if you want to display her without the axe, that's how it's going to be. Um, she does have her little and router antenna pieces coming off of her cuffs, I guess. Uh, and then she, her knuckles have little black diamonds on them. And yeah, she's got a nice booty. Definitely a tight outfit, so it's digging into her crack. And then you can see, you know, butt cheeks peeking out and the lines and everything. A little bit of darkness there, so it is tight and squeezing. 
got some shading on the flesh. She has a vacuum sealed belly button. No camel toe, which is good. And you know, Blanc, she has pretty much no chest, so flat, flat washboard. But you can see in hints of squishiness. Hmm. So yeah, I think she looks really good. Uh, nice feet. Kind of, you got like that uh, metallic mechanical armor looking stuff going on. You got some extra pieces on her calves. Almost looks like plugs on her legs. And diamonds on her hips or her her flanks. And then you, yep, nice shoulder blades. So, so far she looks pretty dang good. And I bet she will look even better once she is completely assembled. So let's get started on that. So I'm going to start by... Pulling out the base and arranging things so I can reach around the camera. And now I'll tilt the camera down. Wow, 16 minutes already. So we've got the peg holes on her feet, on her foot, I should say. So she should attach here pretty, pretty easily. There we go. Nice, nice attachment. And. You know, I know a lot of people that would definitely prefer to just display her like this. Let's do a shake test. She is pretty stable. Looks pretty good. Obviously, you got the big giant base. Yeah, yeah, paint. The paint lines are just so clean and perfect. So Amikuni did very good. Uh, like I said, it was definitely a long wait, but we've got her. Uh, I'm pulling out the instructions to kind of see if there is an order where you're kind of supposed to go in. So they do have numbers one. Okay. So the next one is to attach this processor unit to the base behind her. So that pegs in nice and easy. Um, the plug parts of the USB drives, memory cards, whatever, go in the back. Um, that's two. Step three is the other one. So I'm looking, and this is not keyed, so you have to kind of line it up how you want it. And I'm just looking, does her foot attach to it in any way? No. So you kind of got to maneuver it around her arm, and then you can Peg it into the base. I'm going to twist it a little bit. Try to get it away from her arm a bit. It does feel a little loose of a connection, but you can. It does hold, at least. Okay, so that's that piece attached. And yeah, it does show you you know, be careful around her arm. Okay, next is you take the extra plastic rod that was in the bait, the box that I threw on the floor, and you put it into the hole on the axe. And then, so this, the peg goes over here, the farthest hole away from her. And let me uh, bring her closer so I'm not leaning, because this is kind of a delicate operation, getting the peg in and getting her hand in. There we go. So most of the weight should be on the support pole and not on her, so that's a good thing, and it, it should help support her a little bit more. Again, you got to be careful. Everything is a very tight fit. Just looking, making sure every, nothing is rubbing. There, there we go. Okay, and then the next step is to put her headpiece on. So we'll spin her around to the back again. And here on the handle of the axe right here is the peg for the headpiece. 
So careful of her ahoge. And plug that in. So everything is going together pretty easily. So it does feel a little bit loose, but give it a day or two and it should be pre a pretty tight fit. And then finally, we've got her wings. And it doesn't really say kind of how they're supposed to go, but I think if we look at them dead on, they are angled a little bit. I'm going to have it so that the angles like go from front, front to back a little bit. I think that's how it's meant to be. And wow, I'm surprised. Usually Neptunia figures take hours or ha at least a half hour to assemble. This took four minutes, four or five minutes. But she went together very easily. Uh, didn't have to really force anything. It's got a huge giant base, but yeah, I think she looks really damn good. I'm happy to have her. Finally, we've got a white heart. Yeah, she looks real good. I'm going to spin that a little bit. I mean, what else is there to say? Um, as I said, not my favorite goddess. She is very, you know, angry and coarse and, you know, swears a lot. But that's part of her charm. It's completely different than her normal form where she's very meek. But complete personality transformation. And usually I like the long hair, but I think the short hair looks very good on her. Definitely shows off her back and her booty, if you can get a good view of it. And again, my god, this giant axe. So let's uh, bring her closer. Uh, move the light a little bit. And I'm actually going to take the camera out, so prepare for shakiness. And we'll do some close-ups and different angles. So there's her face, very cute, even though she is angry, yelling, battle pose. And as I said, nowhere on her body has she been molested by drilled holes other than her foot and her ar arm where the hand attaches. But none of the processor unit parts actually attach to, to her. So that's a nice little touch. Foot attaches pretty well and it doesn't feel like it's putting too much pressure on that plastic peg. I wish they were metal, but it is what it is. And yeah, the gloss on her outfit looks very good too. And yeah, nice, very nice belly. Um, you can tell it's a toned belly. She doesn't have a six pack, but she isn't flab or anything. She is muscular. Um, this hand, I do not believe is supposed to actually be touching the axe, so I think that's good. I th think it looks like it kind of could be holding it, but it's not supposed to. And big giant axe. And she's got very nice wings, too. And then, of course, that booty. And that back. So she looks good. Uh, let me go ahead and put you back in the stand, and we will do a comparison of her with another figure. So I'm going to actually take the turntable out of the mix and put her directly on the table. Because both of these figures take up a lot of damn space. <laughs> so I have also pulled out... Good Smiles, uh, Lilac Cool Nep. So we got two white goddesses. <laughs> and no, not in that way. But I, I mean, yes, they're both white and they're both wearing white outfits. So that's what I mean by white goddesses. <laughs> and yep, they look very damn good together. Move this over. And tilt down a little bit. So because of their pose, White Heart who is a shorter goddess, is actually taller than Nep. <laughs> and her armor, her weapon looks a little bit more impressive, I would say. I love Nep in white and her belly and everything. But obviously, same series. Sunako is a great character designer. 
They look perfect together. I have no idea how to display them. <laughs> um, I have seen some people maybe stack the bases. Nep is kind of leaning a little bit then. So, I mean, you've got options. You ha have to play with uh, how you want to display them. But it looks pretty dang good. Um, let's spin them around to the back sides. And you can see there, like I said, Nep has a hole drilled into her thigh, which uh, Blanc does not. But yeah, so there's the back shots. You can see booty crack on both of them, which is good. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and close this off. Eh. Let's see, actually before we close it off, let's see maybe if we go this way. Trying to get them sort of close together so we can do a close-up of them. Yeah, that doesn't really work. But, I mean, you get the idea. They look great together. So we'll go ahead and close this off. We'll push Nep off to the side a bit and focus on Whiteheart. Let's get the turntable back up so we can spin as I close it. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So this is Blanc, or White Heart. She is from Hyperdimension Neptunia, Shojigen Game Neptune, uh, you know, all the iterations. She is one of the four main goddesses, so she appears in, in all of them. Her, her processor unit and outfit is a little bit different than some of them. Um, she is a 1-7 scale figure manufactured by Amakuni and is an exclusive figure to Amiami. You may be able to get her at some other stores, but that's the main one that was selling her. Uh, she came out beginning of September. Some people have said September 9th because that's when they got their invoices of 2021. Um, I ordered her on December 27th of 2019, so it's been almost two years. She's been delayed several times. She is not cheap. She is very expensive at... 28,600 yen or $271.60. I think it is maybe a little overpriced, but considering the times we're in and you know it's Neptunia and it's an exclusive figure and she is perfect and immaculate, I'm not going to complain about the price. I'm happy. Neptunia is my one of my favorite series. I love the four goddesses. Not my favorite, but she is good. I I like her. I'm happy with this figure. I hope you enjoyed. If you have her coming, I hope you enjoy her too. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.